Hello Sagittarius. This is your weekly reading for October 24th, 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I do daily TikTok videos if you're interested in following. All my information is down below in the description box. Everything you need to know. Yeah, I have a little skull eraser. <laughs> it's just rolling all over the place. Huh. All right. I'm trying to get it to sit still. It has... I need to get him to like sit down. Sit down somewhere and quit trying to be cute little eraser skull. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> the collective crystal that I picked was rose quartz wrapped in copper. Copper is an inductor. It, conductor, inductor, whatever. It enhances and amplifies. Um, the rose quartz. So, rose quartz is all about love, healing, self-love, universal love, unconditional love. It's about forgiveness. It's about being graceful. Uh, not just for things that you're going through, but for things that other people are going through as well. So, rose quartz might help. If you get yourself some. All right, spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my Sagittarius babies? For October 24th, 2021. Also, I didn't tell you really why I picked Rose Quartz. So collectively, I feel like everybody's been going through a lot of struggles. A lot of uh, dealing with self. A lot of rejection issues, a lot of abandonment issues, um, a lot of awakening issues, and the shit's fucking scary, you know? So, Rose Quartz will give you a sense of peace, forgiveness, letting go. Surrender. All right, Spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my Sagittarius babies for the week of October 24th, 2021? Six of Cups in reverse. So there could be somebody from your past trying to reach out to you and you're rejecting them or... It's a person that you want to reach out to, but you are not wanting to do it. That whole chunk wanted to come out. At first I was going to fight it, and then I just said, fuck it. This is how the cards have been falling out almost every reading so far. And it's actually made sense. So I'm just, I'm not going to break. I'm not going to break it. It's not broken. So we're going to go with it. So, there could be a person wanting to reach out to you, and you're either not having it, or they're wanting to reach out to you, and they are stopping themselves. Or, you want to reach out to somebody, and you are stopping yourself. But, I do feel like that there's going to be some kind of light that fires up under somebody's ass with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like a message coming in. It's fast communication. It's fast uh, action. So you're going to take an action towards something. And you're not really going to want to do it. You're feeling kind of heavy about this. Fuck. Damn, Sagittarius. You're feeling heavy about doing it, but it's almost like you're telling your ego to take a back seat. Because we have the devil's card here. So I feel like you might be telling your ego to take a back seat. With the Ten of Swords, you're feeling the weight and the heaviness. 
Sagittarius, I think this is about you. Okay. So I feel like that there is a person that you want to reach out to from your past. And your ego is preventing you from doing it. See, these cards have come out and they're lining up. All right. All right. So here's how I'm reading it, okay? There's somebody in your past you want to reach out to. And you're not, you're not allowing it. You're too much in your ego of, no, I'm not doing it. You're like, I'm not doing it. But there's an urgency. Like, there's a sense of urgency that you want to do it. But it weighs on you so heavy. And you're so stuck. Because it, it's like a battle in you that is so fucking hard. For whatever reason. The Nine of Wands also shows that it's heavy. And it's, and it's something that causes you pain. When you think of this person, you think of pain. Your heart hurts for this person. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is about stability. This person is your stability. And you know that this person is your stability. So it kind of hurts you that you're not in contact with this person. Page of Cups. I do feel like you're going to get over your ego a little bit and say, okay, I am going to put my heart and my emotions on the line. I am going to talk to this person. And I'm going to do it without thinking about it. Now, see, this has been coming up for you a lot in the past few weeks. In the past couple weeks, yeah. I do feel like that there's an offer you want to make to someone or something. This could be about a job. This could be about you being with a job and, and you know, pertaining all of this to a job. Okay? So, maybe you want to, you know, move on. There's some kind of way that you want to move on with a different energy from your past. But your, your ego is getting in the way. So with the chariot, I feel like you're going to swoop in and you're going to say, hi, I'm here and we're going to cut through the bullshit. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to put everything out on the line. We are going to speak some truth because I feel like you are now realizing that this person can give you more answers than you thought and it's answers that would be helpful to you. Queen of Pentacles. Could be in our sign. Virgo. Taurus. Capricorn. But the question is, you know, when you, you know, this Queen of Pentacles, keep in mind this is not gender specific. This Queen of Pentacles is very nourishing and is focusing on self. Yep. With the Nine of Pentacles, this person is like really in tune to themselves. They are focusing on themselves. And this is the same focus that you want for yourself. And I feel like that you are going to talk to them and you're going to, you know, this isn't necessarily a love connection though, you know? I mean, this could be just the person that you want in your life to help give you direction. Keep in mind that you don't have to be in a relationship with the person in order to have them help you. If this is a Queen of Pentacles type energy, they're going to be willing to help you. Um... As long as you're not coming to them with ego and you kind of put that out on the line. You have to you have to bring your honesty, you have to bring your A game as to what it what's your intentions, what do you want? And that's where the two of pentacles is gonna come in because four of swords is about
kind of looking at it, kind of, you know, weighing the options as to, you know, it's not really about being indecisive, but it's about being a little defensive while you're just kind of looking out, like what's going to pop out. But it's almost a sense of you lying down too. We have a tower moment. Tower moments are good. Tower moments are breakthroughs. Tower moments are breakthroughs. But with the Five of Pentacles, with this breakthrough, you know, it's going to be making you feel some kind of way. You know, um, I have a feeling that you avoid this person for some reason, Sagittarius. Maybe because, you know, they might tell you what you don't want to know. They challenge you. And... Then you're going to go back into, I'm going to put my blindfold back on. See, Sagittarius, this is where your free will can come in. After your tower moment, instead of isolating yourself, instead of feeling cold, you know, you can pull that blinder off and you can keep it off and you can look at your own truth. There's the Knight of Pentacles right here. So the Knight of Pentacles is not really a fast moving um, knight. It's like he's not going anywhere. He observes, he observes and he holds his stability right there in his hand. And so I do feel like you're gonna go through a tower moment to where you're not gonna wanna see things. And you're gonna feel like you have no way out. But then, here you are standing in your own stability. So you're going to get a sense of stability after this tower. You know, in order to... Somebody once told me that in order to build yourself up, you have to break yourself down. And this particular person used to break me down all the time to build me back up. And they did not do it in a harsh way. They did it in a very loving way and taught me about tower moments. Funny enough, in the present moment, that person does not like tower moments now. <laughs> so it's, it's essentially like, okay, I've had to kind of remind that person who they are, even though, you know, they've done similar situations of wanting to see, not wanting to see, wanting to see, not wanting to see. And you can just kind of sit there with it, you know. But with with the page of with the Knight of Pentacles here, you're sitting in your own stability. And then you have the Four of Wands, which is a sense of celebration. Some people call it the marriage card, but once again, I'm not picking up like a huge love fest here, you know. It's more of a I need to talk to you because. Or I need, I need to talk to you because I need you to help me grow in certain ways personally. And I need help. But you're going to make that decision to do this for yourself. And it's something that you're going to hold dearly to yourself. So I do feel like that you're, you're going to take the blindfold off. You're going to take a chance for this. It's almost like a sense of self-healing. But you're going to be uh, su very successful with it. I mean, for, for some of you, this could be about a relationship. But for some of you, this is about self-awakening. And you actually asking for help. Now, the help that you could be getting could be from your higher self. But it could also be from the Queen of Pentacles. You know, somebody that you know that is very nourishing, very giving, and would love to help you as long as you're wanting to help yourself. And I do feel like that you're going to get a whole new sense of direction and self-love, and you're going to hold that dearly to yourself, Sagittarius, to where you're not going to want to let it go. And I'm not talking about the person that you're getting the lesson from. I'm talking about the feelings that you get from the lesson, like the self-love, the self-acceptance. 
I am so sorry if you hear the sirens in the background. You know, I do feel like that you're, um, I do feel like that you're going to go through a lot of ups and downs before you get to the self-love and the balance that you need. You're going to go through a couple of things, you know, but it's going to end up working to your, to your advantage. Once you get that self-love and that, that self-acceptance and you're safe within and you know that, hey, I don't need all these outside distractions. I want an enhancement to my energy. You're going to change your entire life. And you're getting there. And you're working on it. And you're going to have that celebration. I'm going to pull some more cards. See? See? This is the Ten of Wands. It's a sense of feeling heavy again. But once you lose that heaviness, what do we got? We got the sun. So it's like you're going to go through bouts. You're going to go through bouts of ups and downs. And then look, you got your Ten of Cups. So once you find that self-love, once you find what it is that you want within... And you, you reach out and you get this help or you reach out and you get the, get what you need. A closed mouth will not get fed. And there are certain people in your life that holds the answers that you need to apply to yourself. But you can't be stuck in ego thinking that you have all the answers because you don't. And there are people who can help you. Or a person that can help you get to your Ten of Cups, which is family, home life, stability, everything, emotions, love. So that's what I have for you this week, Sagittarius. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Good luck on your journey. Stay true to yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.